YouTubes, welcome back to the Yorkshire Bike Mechanics YouTube channel. My name's Dave K. I hope you're well and you're having a good week wherever you are. Today, what's this? This is an e-bike battery, as you probably well know already. He's thinking, why is he showing me one of them for? Well, this one we're going to take to bits. If you ever wondered what's in one of these things, then I'm going to show you, I'm going to take it all to bits and we're well, going to have a look inside and you're going to see how complicated these things are inside. So here we are. This is from uh, a high bike and the motor that was in it was Yamaha. So this battery is well gone. It's been gone ages and ages. It's non-recoverable. It's completely knackered inside. Uh, and so it's quite uh, quite easy for us to take this to bits. We don't need to worry about any damage that we're going to do inside. But like I said before, don't try this at home. So, first thing that we need to do is we need to take the end off here. Each battery will come apart in different ways. This one comes apart. We take the end off here. We'll just unscrew these here. And let's have a look inside and see what it's made up of. Now, some people said, uh, have said that uh, these are full of actually little, uh, like a, a Duracell AA batteries. Uh, and some of them have said not, they're one big uh, lump of a battery. But we need to remember these batteries are quite complicated in how they go together. Right, so we'll put them to one side. Now this end here is obviously the part that actually goes into the connection on the bike. You can actually see that. There, there are the connectors. So that drops into the, onto the top of the, uh, the down tube into the, uh, into the connector. So we'll just pull that to one side. Okay, and I'll try and do it so you can actually see as I'm taking it, this to bits. Okay, so these bits are the connectors. And all the gubbins in the top end, just a bit of a, um, a shock rubber there. And everything that's in here should actually slide out. So let's see if it does. There we are. Oh, it's heavy as well. Okay, so you can see these things are pretty complicated. Uh, you can see that uh, there's a lot of circuitry. Uh, on top here, on top of the circuit boards. Uh, these two particular protection panels come off here, so we can take them off and put them to one side. Like I said before, this battery is damaged, so we don't, we're not going to damage it any more than what it already is. So we'll just take them off, put that to one side. Okay, now if I lift this particular end up here you should be able to see the cells inside each individual cell there you go okay so behind each behind this particular plate there's there's one battery behind each particular one and you can see how long they are there's the other end i'll show you that end as well okay there's the other end of the battery cell and so you can kind of guess how many cells are in this battery in fact we can actually have a quick count up so we've got four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifty sixty seventeen eighty nine twenty one two three three four two five two six three seven twenty eight two nine thirty three one three two three three four three five three six seven three eight three nine so there's forty individual battery cells in there um, and we could actually take it further to bits by undoing these screws and we can actually lift it in half. So I think we've gone as far as we possibly can with this particular battery. Uh, like I said before, it was completely knackered before we started, so there were no, uh, no, there were no worry about damaging anything. This particular circuit board is just like a battery management system and it just makes sure that each particular cell is getting the right charge and, and depleting at the same rate as the others. It makes sure that you get an even uh, power 
floor to your motor uh, throughout each particular cell. It's a clever piece of kit and again it's, uh, it, it's, it's now dead, well it's dead now, if it wasn't before it's knackered now. So I think what we'll do with this now that we've taken it to bits and we've destroyed it, I think what we'll do is we'll safely dispose of it, we'll recycle these cells uh, we'll take it to recycling centre and they can do what they need to do with it. So, so I hope you enjoyed that. Another video from the Yorkshire Bike Mechanic. Thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you have a good weekend uh, and I'll see you later. Toodle pip.